Factoring Day 1, Part 2. Right here, pause the video, come back, and press play and see how you did if you can find the factors. First thing I'm going to do is draw the box. In the upper left hand corner, I'm going to put the x squared, bottom right the 1. I have something x, something x. Remember it's ax squared plus B, bx whoops, plus c. A is the number in front of x squared. A is 1, B is 2, C is 1. A times C. 1 times 1 is 1. I need the factors of 1. Well, that's only 1 and 1 and negative 1 and negative 1. I need the factors that add up together to give you me my B term, my middle term. Right here, there's my factors. So I've got 1 and 1. So now I go x squared, splits up as x and x x times 1 is 1x. x times 1 is 1x. So my answer is x plus 1 times x plus 1. Now to check my answers, before you um, turn the video back on to see if you were right or wrong by me, you can also check it yourself by going in your graphing calculator, pressing y equals, putting the problem into y1, what you believe the answer is into y2. So I will come over here to my calculator, and in Y1, let me clear these out, I'm going to put X squared plus 2X plus 1. And in Y2, what I think the answer is, X plus 1 times X plus 1. I'm going to press second graph. I am right because these two col columns have the exact same numbers and they match up. Now, I do want to mention that then there's another way you can write this. You write it as x plus 1 squared. These two things mean the exact same thing. Here's the next one. Pause the video. Come back and see how you did. I will draw my box. x squared goes up here in the top left. My 4 goes in the bottom right. I have something x and something x. A is 1, B is 5, C is 4. A times C, 1 times 4 is 4. I need the factors of 4. I have 1 and 4, negative 1 and negative 4, um, 2 and 2, negative 2 and negative 2. I need my factors that add up together to give me this middle term. 5, negative 5, 4 and negative 4. Right here, there they are. The reason why this happens is because these two boxes right here, you add them together. So that's why we're adding our factors together, because I'm putting the 1 and the 4. Now remember, x squared splits up as x and x. That's always the easy one. x times what is 4x? Plus 4. x times what is 1x? Plus 1. My answer is x plus 1 times x plus 4. The next one, pause the video, come back and see how you did. On this one, I would first look and see, I haven't added this in there, to see if there's a GCF, a greatest common factor in these three. Well, two does not go into three, so I know I'm okay. So I'm going to go here and just go ahead and do the box like normal. 2x squared goes in the upper left, a 3 goes in the bottom right. I have something x and something x. A is 2, B is 7, C is 3. A times C, 2 times 3 is 6. I need the factors of 6. I have 2 and 3, negative 2 and negative 3, 1 and 6, negative 1 and negative 6. I need the factors that add up together to give me my middle term, to give me 7. This is 5, negative 5. There's 7 right here. So I'm going to put the 1 here and the 6 here. And it doesn't matter. I could switch it and put the 6 down here and the 1 up here. It does not make a difference. What does make a difference is this right here. This 2x squared is going to split up as 2x times x. It will matter where you put the 2x. 
So the way you do this is you look in these top two boxes, and what is the greatest common factor in those two? Well, 2 goes into 6, 2 goes into 2, so the 2x goes here. So if 2x goes here, the x goes up here. Well, that'll make sense, because 2 times what is 6? Plus 3. x times what is 1x? 1. So your answer is 2x plus 1 times x plus 3. Next one, pause the video, come back and see how you did. On this one, 4 does not go into 3, 3 does not go into 4, or 13. So, I don't have a GCF to start with. Maybe one of these problems coming up, they will, and it'll make more sense. But I'll draw the box, and I'll put the 4x squared here. Bottom right is the 3. Something x, something x. A is 4. B is 13, C is 3. A times C, 4 times 3 is 12. I need the factors of 12 that give me 13. Now, as we get into the larger numbers, if you want to know the factors, you can also go in the graphing calculator and put 12 divided by X. So if I go in here, let's see, turn this on, let me clear these out. I'm going to put in there 12 divided by X second graph, I'm going to look and find the factors that add up together to give me positive 13. Well, that gives me um, a positive 12. Let's go down here. See, this gives me a negative 8, negative uh, 7. That is a negative 13. Right there is my positive 13, so I need 1 and 12. So I'm going to put the 1 here and the 12 here. It does not matter. You can sp switch them. It doesn't matter. The 4x squared, though, is going to split up either as 4x and x or 2x and 2x. So it does matter on how we split up the 4x squared. So look in the GCF right here out of these two. What is the greatest common factor? A 4 goes into both of them. So 4x goes here, which means the x goes up there. 4 times what is 12? Plus 3. x times what is 1x? Plus 1. 4x plus 1 times x plus 3 is the answer. Next, right here. Pause the video, come back and see how you did. I'm going to draw the box. 4x squared goes up here, the 4 goes here, something x, something x. Well, wait a minute, I jumped the gun on this one, because there is a GCF. There is a number that goes into all of those. 4 doesn't go into 10, but 2 goes into all of them, so I can pull out the 2, and what you're doing is dividing by 2 by every term. So I get 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. This is what we're going to use the box to factor with. So let's go and let me grab a separate, another sheet of paper. Maybe it's all stuck together. Okay. So let me go here and I'm going to put 2, because you can't leave it off, 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. Okay. Now let's use the box and factor this. Now, and to see, if you don't pull out that GCF first right here on this 2, it will give you false factors, so you have to do that first. Now I'm going to have 2x squared and 2. Something x, something x. See, there's no more GCF here because 2 doesn't go into 5. So now I'm going to have a is 2, b is 5, c is 2. a times c, 2 times 2 is 4. I need the factors of 4 that give me 5. I have 1 and 4, negative 1, negative 4. I'm going to stop from there because when I add these together, I get a positive 5. So I'm going to put the 1 and the 4 there. Now 2x squared is going to split up as 2x and x. I need to look here. What is the GCF right there? It is a 2x. So the x goes up above. 2 times what is 4x plus 4. x times what is 1x plus 1. Now, here's where the mistake will happen. People will write this and leave it as their answer. 
Do not forget this too. It must go in front. That is your answer so that when you go to check it in the calculator, you would have gone, and remember we started with 4x squared plus 10x plus 4. You would have put this into y1 and this into y2 to make sure that you had your answer correct. Here's the next video to pause and come back and see how you did. Well, if there's just an x squared, there's no GCF in there. So let's just go ahead and factor with the box. x squared and 6. Something x, something x. A is 1. There's a 1 in front of there. B is negative 5. And C is 6. A times C. 1 times 6 is 6. I need the factors of 6 that give me negative 5. 1 and 6, negative 1, negative 6. 2 and 3, negative 2 and negative 3. When I go and add them together, I get 7, negative 7, 5, negative 5. There they are, right there. Negative 2 and negative 3. Whoops, I didn't write a 3, did I? x squared splits up as x and x. This is a minus 3, this is a minus 2, my answer is x minus 2 times x minus 3. Okay, let's try another one. Pause the video, come back and see how you did. Well, there's a regular x squared, so I'm just going to draw the box. x squared goes here, negative 6, something x something x, a is 1, b is negative 1, c is negative 6. a times c, 1 times negative 6 is negative 6. I need the factors of negative 6 that give me negative 1. I've got 1 and negative 6, negative 1 and 6, 2 and negative 3, negative 2, negative 3, oops, negative 2 and positive 3, my bad. When I add them together, this gives me negative 5, this gives me positive 5, negative 1, oh, there it is. I need them to match, so I'm going to put 2 and negative 3. x squared splits up as x and x. x times what is negative 3x? x times what is 2x plus 2? Two. x plus 2 times x minus 3, there's your answer. Next one, pause the video, come back and see how you did. This one here's the box. I have x squared up here in the top, a 6 here, something x, something x. A is 1, B is 5, C is 6. A times C, 1 times 6 is 6. The factors of 6, 1 and 6, negative 1, negative 6, 2 and 3, negative 2 and negative 3. I need the factors that add up to give me 5. This is 7, negative 7, 5, oh, there it is, 2 and 3. x squared splits up as x and x. You get x times what is 3x plus 3 x times what is 2x plus 2. x plus 2 times x plus 3. Now I want you to I want to remind you that you can write it x plus 3 times x plus 2. That doesn't matter. That order does not matter. Next one right here. Pause the video. Come back and see how you did. Now in this one, I'm gonna, there's a regular x squared, so there's no GCF to worry about in the beginning. I've got x squared and a 10. I have something x, something x. A is 1, B is 7, C is 10. A times C, 1 times 10 is 10. What are the factors of 10 that give you 7? 1 and 10, negative 1 and negative 10, 2 and 5, 
negative 2, negative 5. Well, when you remember, we're adding together because they're right there. That's 11, negative 11, 7, ding, 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 there you go, 2, and 5. x squared splits up as x and x. x times what is 5x plus 5? x times what is 2x plus 2? And my answer is x plus 2 times x plus 5. Next. Pause the video, come back and see how you did. Okay, now this one has a coefficient out here in front of 2. But 2 does not go into 3. So there's not a GCF. I don't have to worry about that in the very beginning. Right here, I've got 2x squared and a 3. Something x, something x. A is the number in front of x squared. A is 2. B is the number in front of x. B is 7. C is 3. I'm going to do A times C. 2 times 3 is 6. I need the factors of 6 that give me 7. 6 and 1, negative 6 and negative 1. I'm going to stop there because right here I already see the 7. I'm going to put the 6 here and the 1 here. Remember 2x squared splits up as 2x times x. It does matter where it's at. So, look here out of these two boxes, what is the GCF? The only thing in common, greatest common factor is an x. That means the 2x goes up here. Well, that makes sense because 2 goes into 2 and 6. x times what is 1x? Plus 1. 2 times what is 6x? Plus 3. I have x plus 3 times 2x plus 1. Next one. Pause the video. Come back and see how you did. Okay, on this one, 3 does not go into 10 evenly. There is no GCF. So I go ahead from the beginning and I go ahead and draw the box. 3x squared and then 3 goes down here. Something x, something x. A times C. Oh, I don't even have A, B, and C. Okay. A is 3. B is negative 10. C is 3. So I have 3 times 3 is 9. I need the factors of 9 that give me negative 10. That'll be negative 9 and negative 1. So I'm going to put negative 9 here and negative 1. 3x squared. Remember that it does matter. It's 3x times x. Out of these two right here, what is the GCF? It is an x. Well, it makes sense because 3 goes into 9. Okay, so x times what is negative 1x? Negative 1. 3 times what is negative 9? Negative 3. x minus 3 times 3x minus 1. Right here, let's see, we have a few more. Pause the video, come back and see how you did. Alright, in this one, 4 does not go into 3, 3 does not go into 4. I don't have a GCF in the beginning, so I will go ahead and draw the box. I have 4x squared and a 3. I have something x, something x. Well, A is 4, B is 13, C is 3. A times C. 4 times 3 is 12. I need the factors of 12 that add up to give me 13. Okay, well that'll be easy because that's 12 and 1. So I'm going to put a 1 here just to change it up a minute and a 12 right here. Now 4x squared, remember it's going to split up as 4x and x or it could be 2x and 2x. Well what's the GCF? What goes into both of them? That's going to be the 4x. Out of these two, the only thing in common is the x. That's why that goes up there. x times what is negative one, or sorry, x times what is 1x plus 1. 4 times what is 12 plus 3. So my answer, 4x plus 1 times x plus 3. Next, pause the video, come back and see how you did. Okay, 4 does not go into a 1. 
Okay, so there's no GCF in this one to pull out in the beginning, so I'm going to draw a box. 4x squared goes up here in the top left. A 1 goes in the bottom right. Something x, something x. A is 4. B is 4. C is 1. A times C. 4 times 1 is 4. I need the factors of 4 that give me 4. Well, 1 and 4, that gives me 5. But I have 2 and 2. That gives me 4. So there are my factors. So I'm going to put a 2 and a 2. 4x squared, remember, it splits up as 4x and x, or 2x and 2x. Well, the GCF out of those two, though, that's a 2x. And that's what goes up here. 2 times what is 2 plus 1. 2 times what is 2 plus 1. So my answer is 2x plus 1 times 2x plus 1. Now I can write it like this, or 2x plus 1 squared. Here's the next one. We've got two more. Pause the video and come back and see how you did. This is a regular x squared, so I don't have to worry about it. I'm going to go and draw my box. I have x squared and a 10, something x, something x. A is 1, B is negative 11, C is 10. A times C, 1 times 10 is 10. I need the factors of 10 that give me negative 11. So I have negative 1 and negative 10. So I'm going to put those here. Very simple, x squared splits up as x and x. This is minus 10 and minus 1. All right, very last one. Pause the video, see how you do, but what I would tell you is to look and pull out a GCF from the very beginning. Now the reason I said that is because I'm looking and I know 4 doesn't go into 14, but what does go into all these is a 2. So I can pull out a 2 and write what's left. If I divided everything by 2, I'd get 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. Now that will go in our final answer, but right here, this, this is what I need to factor in the parentheses. Otherwise, I will get false factors. So again, if that's all you messed up on, pause the video and come back and do the rest. Now I have 2x squared plus 6, something x, something x. A is 2, B is 7, C is 6. A times C, 2 times 6 is 12. I need the factors of 12. 1 and 12, negative 1, negative 12. 2 and 6, negative 2, negative 6, 3 and 4. I'm going to pause because I need the factors that give me positive 7. That's 13, negative 13, 8, negative 8. There's the 7 right there. So I'm going to put the 3 and the 4. Now remember, 2x squared splits up as 2x and x. The GCF in these two, 2 goes into both of them. So the 2x goes here, and the x goes up here. x times what is 3x? Plus 3. 2 times what is, two is 4? Plus 2. Now, this will be the mistake. You will write this as the answer and think this is it. But if you went back, if you went back and put this into y1, this into y2, it will, give you, it will tell you you're wrong. Don't forget about this. Put the two in front. There's your final answer. All of that.